Das bevor schaffen nicht. Take this way. Das Pivot. Fix. Hold well. We are measuring sharpness in the middle of the arch. Lower down steadily and slowly. Turn off. This knife is pretty sharp. But this is in, inside the serration. Let's see how it comes the paper. Uh, serrations have valleys and peaks. So inside the serrations, the valleys, they are sharp enough. How well it rips the paper shows how sharp are the peaks. And it tears the paper. So the peaks aren't really sharp. Next, we need to know edge angle inside the serrations. You see, your knife has flat side mm -hmm. and serration side. Do you see reflection from the flat side? Yes. So, we have to position the reflection the farthest to dot at zero. After we position the farthest dot at zero, we can read the edge angle inside the serration. And it is near 28 degrees, between 27 and 30, so roughly 28. Now we clamp your knife in the knife cheek. Just put a piece of cloth tape on the spine of your blade, this way, in the middle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Place it in the knife cheek. First tighten the lower screw, this one, and tighten it well okay. till the end. Okay. Till the very end. Really tight. This screw adjusts to the thickness of the spine. The black screw at this stage tighten lightly. That's good enough. Now we have to align the edge parallel to the adjustable stop. Mm -hmm. And we use our block for that. On the block you press here with your finger mm -hmm. and press this to the border plank, all right? Mm -hmm. 
Now we can align the blade. In this position tighten the black screw really well. We need to measure jig protrusion, jig distance. And we measure jig distance inside the arch. Not at the peak, but inside the arch. So, in this case, I will adjust it okay. so if you look at the wooden block the jig protrusion reads at 141 millimeter but inside the arch it reads at 139 millimeter Mm -hmm. Just remember this for now. We are done with this part. And the last measurement we have to do, we have to measure the diameter of our homing wheel. Mm -hmm. This one. Come here. Mm -hmm. center it across the central hole, this upper hole. Mm -hmm. So look from the upside, center it as well as you can, press, mm -hmm. press well, okay. If you press well enough, it will hold. Now read what you see. Two hundred forty three point, and then you look at the second scale. Mm -hmm. 243.5. We do not need these values for grinding. We just remember them. We will need them for honing. Next step is grinding. Let's go to our tomic. We grind the flat side, which means, yes, serrations up, flat side down. Mm -hmm. Position of the hands. This hand holds the hand well. Big finger over here. Mm -hmm. And it will be pressing against the universal support, flat. Mm -hmm. So it's pressing against it a little bit down and forward. Mm -hmm. Your fingers are spread over the jig and blade. Mm -hmm. So this will be your position. Mm -hmm. Now we have to adjust the height of the universal support to grind to grind at the arches line. So then we'll be grinding around here. Mm -hmm. 
we don't need to grant any further. So what we do, hold the knife and rotate the wheel by hand and check what happens to the to the marker line. It's good enough, yeah. isn't it? It doesn't go too high. So this will be a this is good grinding height. So fix the universal support in this position with the black screws. Mm -hmm. But before fixing, press with your finger against this is micro adjust. Mm -hmm. So you press here, now we can tighten the black screws. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. This knob lifts the water trough. Mm -hmm. Lift it. Good. Okay. All right. Okay. Now dry run. You will lift your blade a little, mm -hmm. switch on the tromac, mm -hmm. then lower it here, mm -hmm. and let's do this pass. Mm -hmm. In the end, you will have to lift the handle a little bit to do the tip, mm -hmm. to not overlift. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Slowly, slowly. Start lifting. Do not draw the tip past the middle of the stone. Mm -hmm. Lift the blade, start again. Do, do two more passes. Again. Okay. Now let's check how the grinding goes. So we need to do more the heel part mm -hmm. and the tip part. Mm -hmm. Okay. So hold it there for a little bit? Yes. Let's hold it at the beginning and at the end. You know what? You can do it. Give me your index finger. Mm -hmm. Put it here. Ah, yes. So exert more pressure mm -hmm. on the heel and hold for longer. Lift a little bit higher and draw a little bit. Okay. You need to do more, more the heel. Mm -hmm. With Tomek, it is typical. Start here and then move to the heel. Okay. Okay, that's good. Always press flat against mm -hmm. the universal support. What, what you just did, this is one of typical mistakes. Mm -hmm. You'll attempt to do this way. Yeah. Don't do it. Now it is good. So we do the grinding right. Now we have to check, check for the burr. I do it with cotton tips, hold this way. I call this hand. It's, it's alright. I call it handman sign. Try yourself in another arch. It's hmm. alright. First, we check for dragging. I feel that it drags which means that there is a burr that holds on it. Try yourself. Maybe 
Holchi? Holchman. Take care. You are right-handed, aren't you? Left-handed. You are left-handed? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> mm. yeah. This way. Can we feel dragging? Yes, yes. Yes, yeah, so... You slide the cotton bud, and what, what we feel at the moment? I feel dragging here, mm -hmm. and even we had the Hermann sign, not pronounced. But starting with the middle, and especially here, compare dragging here, here, and here, here. That's this angle. Mm -hmm. Angle of the arch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this, this. Or well, much less here. Much less. Yeah. Which means that we haven't raised the burr in the middle segment and in the tip segment. Mm -hmm. So we continue grinding. Mm -hmm. Now we continue grinding the same way. Don't bother. Mm -hmm. Till we start feeling dragging in each arch, mm -hmm. in each segment. Mm -hmm. So holding it's more in this portion of the left? At this point just do it across. Do it equally mm -hmm. across. Just you need to do two, three more passes. Yeah. And is it okay to go back and forwards a little bit? No. Or is it in the same heel, direction? Heel to the tip. Okay. Try and put in your index, index finger here. Mm. You will have better control. Does it matter how much pressure I apply down? Should I be pushing medium or we, softly? We never, we never should press hard. Yeah. This is the general rule. Yeah, no, so Maintain the stop flat against this point. Leave the handle to do the tip. And keep to, keep to, don't stay in, in one spot. Yeah. Keep dragging all the time. As soon as the tip goes to the middle of the wheel, mm -hmm. raise the blade and start from the beginning. Yep. Lifting up a bit earlier, yeah. One so. more yeah. time. So you, you have to. You, you are under lifting. You have to lift a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Put at the very start. Mm -hmm. Place there. Okay. Give me your fingers. Spread fingers on the blade mm -hmm. to exert mm -hmm. maximum control maximum control yeah. and equal pressure yeah. Yeah. you can start a little bit before the heel return to the heel uh -huh. and then go all the way okay lift high good and one more time and we will check for the burger I like your grind. Oh, yes. Very yeah. noticeable. <laughs> so, oh. Dragging? M much more this one. Mm -hmm. And these more as well. Mm -hmm. Still less. Mm -hmm. um, uh, less catching. Mm -hmm. What did you call it? Dragging. Dragging, yes. Catching is good. No? Yeah, this one. Okay. Let me see. Hanuman's <coughs> side. Mm -hmm. 
kann man sagen. Wenn wir schaffen noch hier, so I don't feel enough dragging here. Mm -hmm. That's true. When we sharpen serrations. That's because I wasn't lifting up early enough, right? Maybe. Good here. And lots of dragon here. And these are really well dragging. So we have just one serration here. Mm -hmm. This or that one? Oh, yeah, it's, it's this, this one. one. That we still have to do. Why do we check that? that thoroughly. It's because when we sharpen serrations, we should keep the burr to the minimum. We should displace as little metal as possible as a burr inside the arches. Mm -hmm. Why? Because with serrations, we cannot just flip the knife and remove the burr from that side. Mm -hmm. We cannot grind that side. For this reason, we have to stop as soon as the burr is there. Mm -hmm. So what we do now, do it the same way. Mm -hmm. Just do this part lightly and quickly mm -hmm. and slowly do this segment, okay. like this one. Mm -hmm. And that will be at a bit of an angle like that, lift it up at that point already. Yet, and yet start from the beginning, mm -hmm. quickly go to your problem segment. Mm -hmm and do it slowly. Yep. I would do when I start doing this segment mm -hmm. I would keep doing it till it reaches the end of the wheel okay this way it will get the maximum grinding time okay don't pause keep dragging slowly 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 go on go on go on go on like that okay we are done one more now we are done. Yeah. We have to stop as soon as we can. Um, mm -hmm. We will recheck. Yes. Yeah, more, much more. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, Hellman sign. The Hellman sign is a serious sign. Yeah, it's like. It, you won't see it in every valley. Yeah. Yeah. Hellman sign is my term. <laughs> but, I, but I, I doubt anyone uses it but me. Right. I, I cannot get Hellman sign here, hangman. But and dragon is less pronounced than anywhere. So probably we need two more passes, yeah. and we will finish there. Okay. okay let's do it. Slowly. Okay. Put your finger here mm -hmm. and press a little bit harder. Right on the spot. Right, right. on the spot, yeah, yes. Okay. Just for your muscle memory, put your finger yeah. and work with that finger. Good. For grinding these serrations, we use Standard Tormac SG stone wheel, graded fine. You can sharpen the majority of serrations 
with the f wheel graded fine. <laughs> mm -hmm. Can't but it drags. Mm -hmm. We got it. We got the hand on side. To try yourself. <laughs> Needs a fine hand. Oh, mm -hmm. Steady hand. <laughs> it's alright. Nice. Now we will change the strong wheel to the honing wheel. You have to have some fun with it as well. <laughs> so. Out of interest, let's test the burr after what we've just done. Slowly. Two hundred and thirty six compared to one seventy two before. Let's move to honing. Now we change the grinding wheel to the tapered felt honing wheel. Uh, lower the trough, what trough? Lower till the very bottom. Mm -hmm. now take it out like here. Mm -hmm. okay. Now look. Look, look at the side and see the direction of unlock. Yeah, this way. This way. Don't, don't unlock the nut itself. Mm -hmm. Ah. This hand holds this ah, wheel I see. and uh, yeah, mm -hmm. unlocked. Now you can unlock the nut. This way? Oh, this way. In the unlock direction. The unlock direction yes. Put it on the trunk. Yes. Mm -hmm. Give me the wheel. Take it off? Take it off. Spacer. Take the tapered felt wheel. Now we have to slide it on the shaft. Attention. Mm -hmm. You have you have to hold it against, mm -hmm. otherwise you will push it out. Mm -hmm. Now, take the Tomek honing compound. This is just felt at the moment. We need to wrap the honing compound into the edge here. Mm -hmm. This way. Okay, good. It is a tiger claw. <laughs> a tiger fang. 
Yes. So now we'll be honing inside the serrations. Mm -hmm. So you will place the knife this well, this way. Mm -hmm. But before we can do that, we have to set the honing angle, the deburring angle, mm -hmm. using our software for the frontal vertical base. Mm -hmm. That's what we are doing now. Please come to the laptop. Or how do you call it? MacBook. So this is our wheel diameter, 243. Ah, first choose your Tomic mode. <laughs> our model is not Tomic 4, it is Tomic 8. Position is preset standard. Right. Now we can enter the parameters. This is the wheel diameter, the honing wheel diameter. The Jig distance was 139 and the edge angle in the serrations was 28. Leave blade thickness behind the edge at 1 and click the calculate button. So this is the universal support height in millimeters at which the deburring will be going at 28 degrees per side. Mm -hmm. 110 point... We can round to 110 point Release the black screws. What? This is the height we must set. Mm -hmm. Use micro adjust, micro adjust, lower it. This is micro adjust. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Always set the height of the universal support across this screw mm -hmm. and keep the depth probe of the calipers parallel to the leg. Mm -hmm. Now raise a little bit with micro adjust. Oh, sorry, lower. Mm -hmm. Lower. Stop. Mm -hmm. Now start raising. Mm -hmm. Little bit, little bit at a time. Stop. It's the right, the right position of the universal support. Fix with the black screws. You see how I press here. Mm -hmm. This is important. Mm -hmm. okay. Now we have the support set to hone at twenty-eight degrees, but do not rush to do all the edge. Mm -hmm. Do one serration first. And we do just one serration to check if the deburring angle is correct. Mm -hmm. Switch on the atomic. Uh, Water or no water for this? Because felt. <laughs> yes. <laughs> A little pressure. Just to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right. Mm -hmm. Press against the universal support. Yep. Do the valley. 
with little pressure. That's good. Okay. okay. And now check for the bear. Check the same way mm -hmm. we did when we raised the bear. Mm -hmm. Check for dragon and for Herman's sign. Oh, smooth. Much, much smoother. Yeah, Check the neighbors. Neighbors dragging. Yeah, na na neighbors yeah. definitely dragging. Yeah. You so, neighbors dragging. And it is smooth. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now you can do the whole edge. Mm -hmm. So you start from the first valley, from the first arch, mm -hmm. and do the same way. Mm -hmm. Exert little pressure. Mm -hmm. Start your turn. Two, three passes and move to the next one. If you can do the narrow, do them. The narrow ones? Yes, just the, the, the. just put against the wheel yeah. and hold a little bit. All felt wheels wobble and this wobbling is actually to our advantage in this deburring. That's the right time, the correct time. I do the same. Do not overdo and you go right. We hold inside the valleys and we spare the peaks. We take care not to overhome the peaks. We need the peaks to be peaked because the peaks will be ripping the material, the stuff that we cut. Now we clip the blade mm -hmm. and do one pass freehand, mm -hmm. not using the support, on the flat side. Mm -hmm. Take care not to overlift or you will round the peaks. Mm -hmm. So in this action, mm -hmm. try to keep the blade flat on the wheel. Mm -hmm not poking into it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Start shallow. Okay. Yes. Like that. Mm -hmm. Just one pass. Okay. That's good. Switch off the camera. We still keep the knife in the jig for now before we do preliminary test of the sharpness. 
we may well be done, mm -hmm. but we have to test sharpness before we remove the blade from the uh, magic. Mm -hmm. If you could come here, clean the edge. Get the clip, test clip ready. Test sharpness in the middle of the of the arch. Mm -hmm. Any arch. Hold hold the knife cheek as well. Pull the knife cheek as well. Is it possible? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Slowly and steadily. Slow and steady. Ninety-four. Uh, we see that we have removed mm -hmm. uh, the bear and the edge is sharper now as compared to what we had almost twice as sharp. But by my experience we can do it better. Mm -hmm. We can do it better. I honestly think that at the moment we may have some sort of wire edge here. What we'll do now, let's move back to the honing wheel. And let's raise the universal support just by a half of turn of the micro adjust. Release the black screws. Mm -hmm. Wait a second. Okay, release. Mm -hmm. Now, half a turn means that this number should go down. Mm -hmm. Raise. Yes, that's the correct. Stop here. Press, tighten the black screws. Now, please do it very lightly mm -hmm. and quickly. Mm -hmm. Do not overhaul. Okay. Do every valley. But not little ones, or them as well? I wouldn't bother about little ones at the moment. Yep. Just the big ones, yeah. No pressure. Mm -hmm. Do it, don't do it like reciprocally many times. Do it one time, next valley one time, <laughs> next valley one time. Mm -hmm. Flip the blade and do one time. Free hand on this? Yes, the flat side. We always finish with the flat side. Mm -hmm. So, about this angle? Take care not to round the tips. So, put a shallow flat first. Mm -hmm. Let's start honing and then raise a little. You will really get this feeling mm -hmm. when it is flat. Can you prepare the test clip?
Wait a second, wait a second. And I just also do a common sharpness test, like cutting paper. Thank you very much, Vadim. Looking forward to possibly some more learning in the future. My pleasure. Uh, I have something else uh, I brought with me today, actually. I'm hoping maybe you tell me a bit about it. So another one, Spyderco. It's similar to this, I think. That's interesting. Military serrated. They do not make military models serrated anymore. This one is a historic model. They were first by Dakar. Military was made in 1996 of ATS 34 steel. And yours is. ATS 34. Wait, can you focus on. Spideka started off with ATS 34 in 1996, but the 1997 catalog does not mention ATS 34 anymore because they switched to a different steel for 140V. This early Spydecos clip is two screw. Modern Spydecos are three screw. Also, the handle is more slim, not as comfortable as modern. The signature Spydecos serrations. That's how they started. They have evolved a lot, if you compare. The current military models have a plain blade. Maybe partially serrated, but never fully serrated like in your knife. The lockback locking mechanism came later. The military has a liner locking mechanism that prevents the blade from falling. Well made, congratulations, you have a collectible piece, a piece of history. Fully serrated military in ATS 34 are very rare. In Australia this may be the only one. Yeah. At least this is the first I see. Hmm. Uh, you know, spiders that were made with ATA 34 were regarded almost as high as the S90 V spiders these days. Fully serrated military. Two screw in ATA 34 that has never cut anything and never sharpened a holy grail of Spideca collector. Well, do not ever sharpen this knife. Keep it virgin, sterile, and never use it. It is worth its weight in gold. Well, so this knife, you're saying unsharpened since 1996? Since it 
was produced, it has factory edge. Can we test it? Never sharpened, never used. Uh, how, how many years have passed? 1994. 24 years <laughs> on the shelf. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, 1834. Oh, okay. One fifty six. Still a sharp beast. <laughs>